everybody, welcome back to Create for Americans. And today I, I got a short video here. I really just want to share my opinion about the drama that took place in the final over between the Delhi Capitals and the Rajasthan Royals. Rajasthan, Joss Butler, he got his, I think it was his third century this season. He's got four total in his IPL career. He got three this season. I think the record is six total in a season. Coley's number two with five. He's now got, no, no, that's overall, sorry. That's overall. Now he's got four, so he's behind Coley with five, and he's behind this, the record for six. So Butler went off. Samson came in for limited balls. He went off. They put it like, what, a 223 score or something like that. It was a score that was going to be tough to chase for anyone. Delhi Capitals put their best foot forward. They lost some early wickets. Just as soon as a guy was going, like a David Warner, boom, lost his wicket. Just as soon as a guy got going, like a Prithvi Shaw, surprise, at least he lasted more than 25 booms, balls, boom, he lost his wicket on the 27th ball. But you had different performances. Even a Lali Yadav, right? He went in there and got gave you some runs. But they just weren't able to cut the mustard. Flash forward to the final over on the entire match. The final over of... Uh, Delhi Capitals innings, Rajasthan's in the field, they've already put up that big score, and what does the Delhi Capitals need? They need 36 off six balls, and you got Obed there bowling, and you got Powell at the crease, and so 36 off six, conventional wisdom, if, you, if you're a cricket fan, that means you have to have six sixes, you have six deliveries, six balls, right, unless there's a no ball, six sixes just to um, win the match. All right? And so it's a tall order. And what does Powell do on the first and the second and the third ball? He gets three sixes. Boom, boom, boom. Now they need 18 runs off, off three balls. It's getting interesting. People are getting tense. And what happened? The delivery on the third ball, to me, it looked like a no ball. It was over the waist. It was about, I would say, a good two or three inches over the waist, in my opinion, maybe one or two inches, but it was over that waist. I felt it was a no ball. Wasn't called, didn't go to the third umpire, and Pont was livid. Now, he wasn't livid like throwing, you know, water bottles around, but he was ticked, okay? Absolutely frustrated, and I don't blame the guy. And so he did something that I had not seen before in the IPL. I have not be seen before in cricket. He sent the assistant coach, Pravin Amra. Amra? Amra? Sorry for mispronouncing that. He sent him out there to plead with the umpires, I'm guessing. I don't know if he's friends with the umpires. I don't know why he sent him. Maybe he so badly said, let me talk to him, let me talk to him. I don't know. But he went out there to plead his case. The umpire is like, dude, what are you doing here? Get out of here, right? Basically, didn't have any attention for it whatsoever. As Province going up to talk to the umpire, saying it was a no ball, it was a no ball, go to the third umpire, come on, check it out, which they refused to do. Shame on you, umpires. You know you got the call wrong, and you were getting too prideful to check it because umpires have all the power, right? While that was going on, you had Josh Butler, who just had an amazing day once again. He boosted everyone's fantasy um, squads up. He's not too far near the boundary from where Pont is. So he comes up and he starts chirping with Pont. He starts saying, dude, what are you doing here, man? Come on, this is classless. And Pont gives him like one of these, like, you know, I don't got time for you. It was very interesting. It was a lot of drama. Butler is going after Pont verbally. Pont saying, I've got time for your garbage. Get out of my face right here. This is a no ball. You know it was. I think Butler was getting nervous. Like, dude, don't. Don't you dare call us no ball right now, even though it was, because I don't need to lose this match. I just had an amazing day on. And long story short, the umpires had no no time for it. They didn't reverse their call, okay? Because if they did, man alive, that would have been interesting. And then, unfortunately, I think the next ball was a swing and miss. The next ball was like a two or something like that. And the next ball was caught wicket. You're done, okay? You're done. So they were 16 runs short of the chase. 15 runs short of the, t of the total. But was that a no ball? Was that not? I think it was. I think it was. Let me see what let me know what your opinion is on the matter. Regardless, okay? Let's say it was a no ball. Then they have the extra ball. The way Powell's going, boom, that's probably gonna be a 6-2 or at least a 4. Now you're changing the entire complexion of the match, right? It seemed like as soon as that no ball was not called, Powell, the, the the air went out of his sails. The air went out of his sails completely. 
And it was unfortunate that Powell seemed to let that get to him, right? It's unfortunate that Pont let that get to him. It's unfortunate that he sends the assistant coach, or the assistant coach was sent by Ponting or just wanted to go. I don't, I've never seen that before. That was very interesting. And now the IPL, the um, they've announced sanctions because of it. 100% of the match fee, fine from Rashad Pont. 50 cent for Charlotte Thacker. I'm not, Thacker. I'm not exactly sure what he did. I missed that part. And then ban for one match, the assistant coach, Amra, and find 100% of his match fee um, for this match. My question is, why was Butler not fined as well or given a talking to or some? Because you can't go over there and talk to the opposing side, I assume. I mean, talking trash and chirping is one thing. But he went over there to say, dude, you're out of line. Get out of here with this orange cap on. And I have nothing against Butler. But I thought that was classless. Pont is obviously frustrated. And you can you can make the argument that Pont was being classless there by arguing about it and arguing. And sending the dude. It's like, I'm going to get my dad right now. And he's going to really tell you guys what's up. It was very, very weird. It was full of drama. It was very exciting until that no call for that no ball happened. And it was a situation where Rogers don't want to match. They should have won at the end of the day. But man, for half of that over, Powell looked like he was going to make it very, very interesting. And I just want to talk about it. Let me know what your thoughts are. Comment below. Get involved in the discussion. I'm sure it's going to be a lively discussion. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And in, you know, just less than seven or eight hours, you can come right back here to CFA Nation as we do our live stream for SRH and RCB. It should be a, should be a good one. With that being said, until next time, adios.